Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Tuam and today I'm going to play a language game with Melissa from Mexico and Nusha from Russia. Let's see how comfortable they are with Persian words. Hello, my name is Melissa. I am a Mexican singer. I love to sing and to write songs, mainly rock and metal music and basically I love languages this is very exciting <laughs> and what languages do you know by the way um my language is Spanish I know English and I know a lot of Russian <laughs> <laughs> that's great and Melissa today we represent a Spanish language so what about Nusha I am from Russia my name is Nusha and I am English tutor. So what nice languages do you know, Nusha? Uh, English and Russian. So Nusha, today we represent a Russian language. And today I ask questions from Persian language. So Great. let's see <laughs> how you two will deal with that. And um, are you ready? We are going to start with the first word. Sure. Great. Okay. So let's play bamboozle. So let's see if you can guess what kind of animal is that? What's the name of this animal? In Persian, we call it sag. S-A-G, sag. It might be a fox. <laughs> what? Fox, maybe? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why the first thing came to your mind is fox? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's a short name. Mm. Yes. <laughs> three letters. And actually, it has three letters in English. Yeah. I have like a second idea, but let's... Did you say something, Nusha? So you mean that there are only three letters in if uh, no, no. in English? In the person? Yes, in English, three ah. letters. Oh, yes. Okay, let's say we have it in our <laughs> campus. Yes. They are very friendly. Cat. No. You got dog. close though. <laughs> dog. Dog, yes. It's a dog. <laughs> Sag. So how do you say uh, dog in your language? In Russian, we say dog, sabaka. Sabaka. In Spanish, it is perro. Perro. It's very perro. similar to perro, like, but. Perro and perro, different. Perro. Yes. <laughs> perro is not but. <laughs> no, perro. Perro is like. Perro. Like fart, you, you say? <laughs> no, no, but, not fart. <laughs> Ah, pero. Yeah, yeah, the other one is pero. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, the Good. three words. So, the next word. The next, uh, it's yeah, a yeah. type of building. Uh, in Persian, we say borj. B-O-R-J. Borj. Is that like a house? <laughs> uh, it's a type of building, we could say. Okay. We don't have names for buildings, just building. <laughs> so let me say, give you a hospital. hint, like, hospital. No. no, no, it's not a specific place. It's a type of building. Skyscraper. Uh, you no. got very close. It's a uh, mm. more general than that. Okay. Uh, Maybe I tower. can accept your answer. It's tower. Yes. Tower. Oh, that yes. was my yes. next guess, but I <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Let me give you each of you one point because uh, that one is a type of uh, tower anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't worry. So, mm. borscht, uh, which word is it similar? Like in Russia, we have borscht. The soup. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> borscht, by the way, is it uh, originated from Ukraine, Nusha, or Russia? It's, as far uh, as I know. Yes, it's Ukrainian. Uh, I think the origin is, is Ukrainian one, but uh, it's so popular uh, here also. So we can say even that it's Russian as well as Ukrainian. Melissa, have you ever tried borscht? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, you don't want to ever try? Of course I would. <laughs> but yes. in Mexico, you don't find it. Then yes, you should come right. here, we will cook it. I will teach you. I'll teach you. This borscht. Okay. 
let's yes i i actually tried borscht and i didn't like unfortunately but oh. from russian cuisine i like uh, beef stroganoff and uh, salad olivier very much because you didn't try it in a good place i think <laughs> <laughs> yes maybe you that could be i tried twice in two restaurants and both of them yeah, were not the good restaurants, they can't cook it properly. <laughs> <laughs> good to know Okay, so next word. Moz is a kind of fruit. Moz, M-O-Z. Orange? No, but <laughs> it is yellow. Ah, oh, come on. Closer to orange, but... Pineapple? <laughs> no. Pumpkin. What? No. Pumpkin, no. No. Banana? Banana, yes. <laughs> it's <laughs> banana. <laughs> Moz. 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 Yeah, it's a weird name because in Russian it's banan. Banan. In Spanish yes. it's platano. 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 So, what <laughs> kind of fruit, by the way, is more common in your country, for example, Mexico and Russia? The whole country. <laughs> yes. Well, in my state, it's oranges. Oh, okay. At least in my state, yeah. In uh, Sonora. Mm hmm. Okay, you and mean, what about you, Nusha? You mean uh, uh, the the favorite, the favorite? Or... No, which one is more famous uh, in I your think... city or country? Because yeah. Russia also is very west. <laughs> Apple. Which one? Apple. <laughs> really? Apple, because because uh, we don't have here um, bananas or um, oranges. Uh, it's too cold here for that. So in the warm uh, places only we can grow watermelons or well, melons. So and great. in Russia, I noticed that uh, you guys have different types of berries. Mm -hmm. And when you have a drink, you call it morse, which is very tasty. Yes, we have different berries. Yes, we have a lot <laughs> here in the forest yes. that grow. Melissa, have you ever tried morse in Russia? I don't know which berry is that. They, like... they have different berries for morse. Different. So we can, you can uh, even yeah, choose. We don't grow berries. Uh, it's too hot in here. But uh, I think the only one that grows in winter is strawberries. Sometimes people grow them in the garden berries but usually they grow in the forest people just... you mean in dacha or any type of car in dacha? yes i mean this exactly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's to grow on purpose but uh, they usually grow just themselves in, in the forest yeah. i see so the next word uh, mm -hmm. you were this one we, in persian we call it saat so you at. repeat <laughs> what? What? this is very word? hard yes for foreigners well, what? Sta at. You wear this one. Sta at. Oh, it's, it's a piece of clothing? Uh, it's something what? that you wear. I put Maybe it on. Maybe not okay. necessarily like a okay. cloth. Accessories? Mm hmm. Which type? Is it earrings? No. Ring? No. Makeup? <laughs> no, but you were getting close when you mentioned ring. Bracelet? <laughs> no? <laughs> Not bracelet? What did you mm -hmm. say, Melissa? The same. <laughs> oh, the same. 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 No, no. Clock? No, watch. Yes, yes, what? yes, watch. Yes. Clock is on the wall, watch. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's in Spanish, it's the same word for both. Yeah. In Iran, um, exactly the same. So we use saat for both of them. I'm yes, not wearing it. Also. You don't have <laughs> Yes. In Russia, we also have the same. Only in English, we have clock and watch, I think. Uh -huh. yes. So, uh -huh. and reloj, reloj. <laughs> reloj. But, uh, how is it in Persian? In Persian, saw so at. It's not that much easy. Saw so at. Uh, I said reloj. It's the same. Right? Reloj, yes, yes. Reloj. And uh -huh. chassis. 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 This E, like... by the way, I have all the time problem. You chassis don't or chassis. This E. Chassis. <laughs> e. <laughs> chassis. Mm -hmm. Melissa, for you, is it easy to say this E? E. No, I'm, I'm be, I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I no matter how much I practice, doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. okay. Come on, it's good. 
Don't. <laughs> this topic. Okay, the so, next. So far, Melissa three, Nusha two. Uh, ah, Melissa is leading. Because we were tied on one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so okay. the next one the is the game a part is not of... over. Wait, wait. Okay, yes, so... six more you have. So oh, let's see. I have two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is a part of your body. We call it oh. gush. <laughs> it's just like a funny part. <laughs> That's such an intrigue. Mm. And, and you know, in, in Russian, it should be easier, I think, comparing to Spanish. So nothing, nothing like Spanish. Oh my gush. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gush instead of gush, yes. <laughs> okay. Nusha, you try first. So yes, I head? think you have more chance to say it. Head? No. Galova is not related to Gush. Galova. <laughs> something, Galova. <laughs> something closer. Galova. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, Galova. Mm. Could it be a stomach, tummy? No. Okay. It's Head. located on your Galova. It's located on your face. Volosi. No. Boy. Hair. <laughs> hair. No, not hair. Mm. Eyes? No. Eyebrows? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's closer to Russian. It's uh, not exactly starting with a I'm G, thinking but... about all the face parts and nothing sounds like gush. <laughs> nothing. Teeth? No. <laughs> you have two of them, but it's not eyes. Yes, that doesn't yes. sound like that doesn't sound like Russian. Uchi, 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 so. Is uh, oído or oreja? Oh. It has two names. I don't know why. Oreja, orejas. Yes, be... oreja. I heard, but the other one. What did you say? Oído, you said... oídos. Oído. It's more like the sense of hearing. Oído. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Orejo, yeah. orejo sounds, by the way, like in Russian, not orej. We have. <laughs> yeah. Not connected with ears not. at all, but sounds exactly like that. <laughs> So next one is related to weather. Okay. Bars. B A R F. Bars. Bars. <laughs> like in English is another thing. Barf. Yeah, barf is like barfing, like throwing up, but different. <laughs> <laughs> no, if it's related to weather, I feel like I'm you can throw up on barf. Right by the way, it's okay. You can barf on barf. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Weather. Clouds. No. No. Wind. No, in Russia we have lots of that. We have lots of that. snow. No, yes. Good. <laughs> they also have a lot. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, no. Okay, so next one. This is a type of sport which is very famous in Iran also. In Persian, we call it koshti. Koshti? Koshti. Football. Football. No. Football is very neither kind of football. <laughs> I decided but, to start with from simple. You're talking about in in soccer. You <laughs> we can beat in you soccer. We suck. <laughs> ah, okay, so it's another thing. Mm. They are actually getting better, and I hope in, in the future. But in coach T, it's not soccer, right? Koshti. No, and it is uh, coach T. Mm. Most probably originated either from Iran or Greek. And you are great. Yes, <laughs> you're great in it. I'm known. I'm not great in it. No, no, no. But Ra <laughs> Iranians are, Persians Iran, are good at it. Okay. Hmm. Even in Do we uh, even Russia, know that it exists? <laughs> Is it popular? In Mexico, I don't know. I didn't see that much athletes doing that. But in Russia, I know Tatars, they have even tradition for that. They take it seriously. And Russians, it's... we have very good athletes for in that field. Yeah, I just wonder if I know it exists. Mm. So, so sports have no idea. Even not basketball, I guess. 
Da. Golf? Tennis. <laughs> Golf, no. Tennis, da? No. no. Because I like tennis, you say that again. Money first. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> Give a hint, Dan. Give a hint. We can guess. Okay. I, I gave lots of hints, actually. This is a big deal in Russia also. But not I, that much in Mexico. It's about the sports. <laughs> but, but in Russia, they are good at many fields. That's the problem. So no. it needs at least two person to play it. Mm-hmm. And usually I saw it only two person it's not like three person play together usually we have two we already said unless this is the exotic one i don't know we already Volleyball. said the popular ones Volleyball. so it's like a fight it's like a fight a fight i was gonna yeah. say chess <laughs> <laughs> no. ah, it's a mind karate, fighting, karate you are getting closer yes that, that's a type of no Boxing. no Taekwondo. <laughs> you say I'm getting closer. Mm. And in English, we use the same uh, word for arm. When they compete with their arm, for, they use... Box. No? Boxing, no? Boxing, I just mentioned already. Oh, Boxing. I didn't hear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Arm wrestling. Use... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so you mentioned <laughs> it, <laughs> but... <laughs> Okay, arm wrestling, but what I'm looking for is not arm wrestling, but you use the word. But wrestling. How do wrestling. you wrestle without the arms? <laughs> it's wrestling. Just wrestling. Ah, okay. So you yes. got it, Yusha. Wrestling. wrestling. Uh, is there a difference yes. between arm wrestling and wrestling? Is it like the WW something? <laughs> Just arms and there is a fighting. Yes. Yeah, wrestling. arm wrestling is different. Okay. Got it. But a yes. little bit like lucha libre yeah <laughs> <laughs> so what is the most famous sport in your country that people love so much football yeah it's football soccer yes. but in the country not me <laughs> not my state my state is mainly baseball baseball very interesting mm-hmm. but we is it stadiums. even common in mexico to play baseball in the united states i know it's a big deal but Aha, uh-huh. we live close to the US, maybe that's why. I live in the north, so Americans come and play against Mexico mm. here in our stadiums. Mm-hmm. I see. So, but Nusha, you have lots of sport in uh, uh, Russia. I was expecting maybe you say like gymnastic. It's not that oh. big deal comparing to soccer. Because in soccer, I know since World Cup, you guys take it so seriously. But before that, I think... Yeah, it's not a big deal comparing with football in general because they, they are called crazy fans all around. Mm-hmm. Yes, but comparing and I to... Thought, and I thought hockey or... Hockey yes, also, hockey also, also yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Just to me personally, I, I'm, I'm so far from sports. So <laughs> <I'm absolutely laughs> yes. So <laughs> none of you play any sport uh, professionally? Mm, no. Especially not professionally. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I like riding my bike, going roller skating. That's yes, it. yes, I noticed also that uh, you share photos related to roller skating. So how's it going? Right now it has been raining, so no roller skating for me. <laughs> oh, that's the disadvantage of that. But indoor mm. uh, uh, course should be, right? It should be, but we don't have any. <laughs> so next one is the color. In Persian, we call it abi. In Turkish, when they say abi, it means mister, but that's different. Abi. Purple? No. Black? No. White? (laughs) Rainbow. Randomly, (laughs) just, yeah. (laughs) Orange? No. Blue? Blue, yes, thank you. <laughs> blue. Oh, yes, guess oh, it. Is blue. <laughs> okay, a B. You had to give it's... a hint, for example, the sky, uh, the sky of this color. Do you have yes. a different name for the different blues? <laughs> in uh, in Russian, have... they have different names for blue. We have, yes, we have uh, uh, blue, uh, it means boy. a uh, dark blue, sini. Mm-hmm. Different yes. shades. shades I always get them. <laughs> I always mix them up. I don't know which one is which. Thank you for explaining. 
Uh, uh, inspired... Dr. Tam's uh, t-shirt is exactly blue, um, Galubaya, uh, for example. I think he's uh, this, no, more Very green, light right? on your head. Green? Because I can't understand because of that. Yes, uh, uh, you know, usually painters know the best about colors. For example, for all of them, I say blue. I don't even no. distinguish between them. In general. And you're a man. Yeah. For example, <laughs> yes. I don't even blue. see the difference. I'm color black. This is, look, look, this is blue. And this is dark blue. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm. This is the difference. This is huge oh, difference. Now. For us, it's azul. Azul. So if we want to say it is light blue, dark blue, we add the adjective light or dark. But it's azul. Always azul. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was actually one TV series. The dog name was Azul. Uh, what was the name of uh, the movie? The series actually. It was a it was a Mexican actually series. Hmm. Uh, Telenovela. El, cu el cuerpo <laughs> del deseo. <laughs> That's Azul. a telenovela. That's a telenovela. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, sub operas. <laughs> well, by the way, I noticed also for dark blue in Persian, we say sormei. We don't say uh, obi. So we have oh. it also in Persian. Okay. But in Mexican, you just have one word, azul. For yes, it. it's azul. And we, we say sky blue, <laughs> azul cielo. Or uh, the dark, the one that is also mainly used for uniforms, uh, the dark blue is azul marino, like if it came from the marines. I don't know, yes. marine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yes but also either. for uh, as i understood in english they say navy navy, navy. color ah, navy. Navy blue. maybe yes. we copy it from them yeah i don't know <laughs> but most of the words they took uh, from uh, latinos so it's possible also that's the case okay next Both one cases this one is a job and if melissa says it first she will be the winner so Nusha, ah. be careful. <laughs> That's the job. And in Persian, we call it Pezeshk. Is it a legal job? Is it legal? <laughs> it's legal, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can you repeat? Pezeshk. Uh, salesperson? <laughs> what? Why is it? A salesperson. salesperson? No. This is a good job. Usually, no, okay. We... Okay, what kind of doctor? <laughs> well, I can't accept it actually, but um, mm -hmm. it's a specific. Was it a dentist? Type of... <laughs> Therapist. Therapist. Yeah. No, it's a specific part. I I could say this is a physician. So it's a general doctor. A general doctor we call it physician. Therapist is the same. Therapist. Uh, yeah. Not necessarily. Common, common, uh, we, yeah, because it sounds therapy. like it's a, it's a psychological therapy. No, you mean the body therapy, right? Yes, yes, yes exactly. Physician. physician exactly mentions mm -hmm. about physics. No. So. In Spanish, I don't think we have a name for that. It's just um, therapeuta, maybe just therapist, but not physician. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in Russian, we have also therapist. That's why I said But you have brach also. This is exactly brach. Brach. Yes, that's a doctor, right? Brach. Come on, doctor yes. means exactly physician. Yes, like therapy. Yes, exactly, physician. Uh -huh. And sometimes <laughs> it's uh, getting confused with physicist, but physicist is the one that uh, he knows physics as the <laughs> science. No, 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 no. Uh, Melissa, what you said about how it will be in Spanish then, such doctor? Mm, no, terapeuta, but it also sounds like psychological. Huh. It's like Russian sounds also. Yeah, yeah, there must be a name. Luckily, I've never been to one. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> this item you can find in the kitchen. In Persian, we call it chagu. This, this letter G <laughs> you don't have, I think. Chagu. It's not food. It's not food. Chagu. No, it's not item. a food. Item. Um, Is it, uh, does it need electricity? No. Okay. Uh, spoon. You're getting closer? Fork. <laughs> nice. Getting closer? 
Uh, knife. <laughs> knife, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you said close, that was the, the hint. And she already said the other two. <laughs> yes. So, wow. ladies and gentlemen, I announce you Melissa as the winner. <laughs> Six to five. What was, Very close. what was the name in person? <laughs> Chalgu. 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 It sounds like two, two words. You have yes. to write down all the words when. We yes, can... of course. Uh, actually, when I edit the video, I should write them. Otherwise, please. Uh, nobody so understands. So we learn we something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so how do you say that in your own language? Cuchillo. Cuchillo. Oh. Yes, yes. This one I like Cuchillo. very much. And nos, nos. Nos. Mm -hmm. Very short. Yeah, it's okay. very similar to nos. Nos. No. Yes, <laughs> no, San for, for, for us, notch. <laughs> because it sounds for me a chill. Notch, yes, nice. Oh, that's so many, so many. Ah, notch, notch in Spanish, mm. notch. Or, or notch, nice. uh -huh. notch. A notch, like in Russian, notch the same. They are similar. Why? Why? Exactly. Also, you use I the same. Russian. And Luna, I think both of you use Luna. Luna is Luna, but I don't know if it came from Russia. <laughs> Yes, also you have so many common names, like... Uh, names. Yes. Yeah, but I'd like to point out that the personal pronouns, yo, is ya. Yeah. It sounds very similar. Exactly, yo, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y tú is ti, tú. Ti, mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> Those two, it was a surprise when I first learned that. I was like, hey, <laughs> we should say a word for you to guess. <laughs> okay, you want to now <laughs> take your revenge, okay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo listo, ya gato. Mm. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't choose a hard one. <laughs> I'm just mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I'm confidence. trying to think about. <laughs> All the <laughs> things that come to my mind sound like English, so oh, that's bad. Oh, that, I have one. Escaleras. Escaleras. Uh, it looks guesses. like elevator. No, but you use it to get to higher places. Uh, which <laughs> category? It's this from which category? Yes, yes, at least. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Hey, okay. It's a part of a house or a, or a building. Ah. It's, a th it's a thing, not, not food. No. The stairs. Yes, escalators. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> See? Okay, I'm not bad with it. So, Nusha, not, maybe you want to take clear. a revenge on me too. Maybe you can give me a Russian word too. No, you have, you know, a lot of Russian words. How to. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, you can also participate because you know many Russian words. Okay, I will then. Just give me one second. Um, maybe once more we can uh, repeat this game uh, that Nusha asked us Russian. Uh, you so, mean now or next time? No, another day. Another day we can also <laughs> do that. Yes, okay. Then we, st we stop here then with words, I think. And next <laughs> time we, we will... Yeah. Okay. It wouldn't be fair because he knows a lot of Russian. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel not to miss any of our future games. See you guys.